Well, how do you, how do you feel now? Um, uh, now you're also starting going away on your to continue to be nominated for a best foreign film for uh, the Oscars. Does this sort of give you more stamina to go fighting there for that? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a bit heavier now <laughs> with this one. Uh, no, it's it's uh, such fun uh, coming from Sweden and, and uh, win best comedy. It's fun, you know. <laughs> uh, we will see what's happening with the Os Oscar nominee thing, but but uh, tonight we, we are uh, very happy. We, we talked a lot about uh, we are so funny, so we had to reduce humor on set. Uh, no, but we, we, we uh, as I said when I, uh, when we got the prize, uh, I, I've been making a lot of comedies in Sweden, uh, but this time I, I really didn't want to do comedy. <laughs> So, so we, 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 and the book is a bestseller uh, all over the world, and, and many people think that um, uh, a man called Uwe is is a kind of funny uh, novel, but but in a way it it has uh, quite uh, big depth in it. Are you not happy that uh, Tony Erdman was not nominated as best comedy? <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, she said that, uh, uh, Maren, Maren. Uh, uh, it's good to diverse sometimes, uh, but maybe uh, they could go to comedy and we could go to best European, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but in a way it's the same kind of film, it, it's not asking for, for jokes, they just come, as, as, as humor comes in normal life. Hey, congratulations. Um, the last uh, Swedish winner for the best comedy was uh, Roy Anderson with his pigeon. Do you find his films funny? Because he was complaining that in Sweden they don't understand him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, if you like, uh, if you like slow humor, uh, uh, his films is very fun, and and, and I, I really appreciate slow humor in in, in a way. But also, he, 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 he had this kind of balance, which is so important, because if, if, if you're too funny, uh, you, you lose your feelings for, for the characters and, and so on. So, so, so as I say, the important thing is, is to, to, uh, to, to be aware not not being too funny. I, 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 no, nothing. <laughs> That's what's no, 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 that's not fun. Yes, I, I was wondering if you, as, a, as the actor who plays uh, over, could talk a little bit about that, because in a way, of course, it's not funny because he's a suicidal guy and yeah. um, and it's tragic. So, uh, and it's maybe he's also not so friendly. Um, how did you approach him? How did you connect him to us as, as viewers when he's such a difficult guy? In one way, to take it very seriously and to try to find the balance. Sometimes the balance was to, to on a very thin line. But uh, mostly I took him very seriously and, uh, and, and, uh, uh, and look upon him and like a man, like a shiny box. Where you open one box and there's another person in that one and you open that box. And so it's a little bit the film shot also, I mean... Uh, uh, always one person outside in, in the neighborhood is another person in, inside and he is uh, another person uh, at the grave. I mean, like all of us. So I, I, think, uh, uh, I think we both can connect to him in this uh, stubborn way uh, where the humor lies a little You have the humor there a little bit. He does things that we should never do, and and uh, uh, but you hold also have this uh, tragedy, the love story. I mean, I mean, come on, this is romance. This is romance. I mean, <clears throat> you are so in love that you try to kill yourself so you can you can go to your your wife, which is up in heaven. So I mean, it's also romance.